Hadassah Group has been doing a charity gift wrap here in North uh, Ross Park Mall since the mall opened. And before then, we did it at the Northway Mall. Northway Mall. So about 20 years, um, our group has been doing this every year. Basically, say we have all the right tools and the right setup. A nice clear counter. Um, the papers are all on rolls. We have the appropriate size boxes. And also, it's, it's as you say, to have all your things ready um, when you begin to get started, so that you're not fumbling. And one of the things we do is we always measure our packages because you don't want to waste a lot of paper. So we use either a piece of ribbon or a tape measure to see how big around the package is. And then you can measure so you don't wind up with too much paper. The other thing that's good is to trim. You don't want to have too much excess paper. One of the things that's always good is you don't want to leave jagged edges. So if you fold things, you get a nice straight edge and then you can tape it. And if you watch on this side, I'm folding it down and then this way and make creases. If you crease the paper, it tends to lay much better. So that you get nice flat. And the other thing is use plenty of tape, especially the clear tape that doesn't show because then everything holds better. So for a smaller package or a package with a small design, we tend to use a smaller ribbon. And now I'm going to shred this ribbon so that we can get a nice fancy looking package. Party supply places often have these. Um, we have bows that we've purchased and then we also like to make them. Mm -hmm. And this one's just nice and simple. Here make a loop. Of that. Yeah. Make a loop on each side. Just keep going forward and backward. And then just cut off the tail and then we just staple it. And you can do fancy things like this by using two different color ribbons together and then staple it so that you get this two-tone effect like this or like this. And those make really nice decorations on packages. We try and keep smaller pieces that are left over from the packages situations like this. <laughs> That's a good tip. Use a scissor and pull it through like that. It curls it. The things I always do is, even though these are self-stick bows, if you put a little tape on, it stays a whole lot better. Well, I think using gift bags bag. is the quickest, easiest way. You can just put some tissue paper in, put your, bag, your gift in, and you're set. You don't have to do ribbons or bows or cut and, and tape paper. Um, but the other thing that, that makes it fairly easy is if you just take a little a minute to fold the paper so that it's smooth, even if you don't do a lot with bows or ribbons, it looks like a nice package. We always have to remember to take the price tags off. Most people do forget. I always line the box with tissue paper. You know, instead, of, instead of measuring this way, which we do with most boxes, the coat box we have to measure around this way. Longer. And if your box is quite full, it does help you to tape it around. Things you want to do is you really want to line up so that you're even. Because otherwise, when you go to do this part, um, you find that it's crooked and you got more on one side. And a good way to do that is if you tape it to the box and then tape your other piece, you get a nice, smooth match. Creasing the paper really helps to give it a smooth look. I'm going to wrap them all myself. I just don't have time this year. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice evening. Merry Christmas.